What's going on guys? So, I'm making this video, you can see I have right there. That's the, uh, as you can tell, it's heart. It's one of those stacker systems. Um, and I'm sure as you can tell, I've done some customization. Um, so what this video is, is it's kind of a run through, sorry. It's kind of a run through of some of the customizations I've done. And, uh... A review of the heart stacker system uh, so I, I am an alarm technician so I did have to I do have to modify and chances are 95% of the stuff that's in here I won't need but you know how it is you're gonna go to a job and find you need something oh but I got that but it's at home right so uh, so I've got this so I go somewhere, I need something, I'll have it. Like in that bottom section where that little tool pouch is, I've got a sawzall and a circular saw. How often am I going to need that? Probably never, but you know what? I've got it in case I need it. So anyways, let's just go through it. Um, first off, you can see the modifications I've done. I mounted a uh, a U-bolt right here and that's for it's not really for these I mean that's an afterthought it's more for my butt set and you see I got my butt set tied down right here so it doesn't flop around and uh, more and more I'm probably not going to be using this butt set because a lot of the alarm systems nowadays are either uh, ethernet and or cellular but I've got the butt set so I can work on a customer who's connected to an um, old school landline in case. Okay, I've got my little tool pouch here. And the whole premise is, as I pull this off, put it on my side, clip it in. Okay. What I used to do is I used to actually have this mounted inside my truck screwed to the steel package but I don't have that option anymore and as you can see I'm sure I'm not the only one that's done it sometimes you go to work and you forget to put this on your belt so I got a spare one with me that I can put on my belt in case now, I really don't have, I really don't have my, uh, my, my compartments here organized. We're not going to go through everything. Uh, and then I've got my little sweeper here. You can see, put a, uh, put a, and everything I did, you can see I've got fender bolts, or I'm sorry, fender washers. And I got a bolt on this side and I got, or sorry, a nut on this side and a nut on the other side. Um, so, uh, and then the, the nut on the other side is actually a nylon lock nut. So I shouldn't have any issues with it moving. Same thing, same thing I did with these. This one's got two screws and two nylon lock, lock, um, lock nuts. Uh, it's got fender washers on the inside but not on the, the, the outside. And here you can see, there's a little plate here that, that came with the U-bolt. Uh, and I've got the regular nuts here. And on the inside, it's got the lock nuts. Now, let's go ahead and, and just to kind of go into it, I know I've seen some other reviews out there that, that cover the heart stacker system. Um, I saw one other review for, for the drawer system. This is actually uh, kind of a hard, hard thing to find. But the heart stacker system, um, compared to like Milwaukee, this whole setup here, minus the, the, the modifications that I did, cost me about $140. Um, the the box itself the stacker kit minus the two drawer system was it was eighty nine dollars and then after tax and everything it was like a hundred bucks ninety six dollars uh the two drawer system here that cost me thirty nine ninety seven or i don't know something like that 
Um, so for after shipping and everything, sh so everything all together, minus the stuff that I did, you're looking at like an uh, like 140 bucks. I'm looking at potentially buying another one of these. And uh, the only thing I don't like about this, this, well, these two sections, is there's no. There's no pouches like you would see on the inside of a tool bag. Uh, so I actually went out and I'm still waiting on it. I'm gonna have uh, a pouch made for this one. But right now everything's just kind of thrown in there and it's it's not very well organized as as we will see. Um, the, 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 uh, the material says that this will um, handle uh, 100 pounds. Uh, without weighing everything I have, I don't think I've quite reached a hundred pounds and you can see seven inch wheels. They're, uh, they're actually rubber coated or, or poly coated or something like that. Um, if anything breaks, this would be the first thing to break, um, on, on the system here. Um, I was actually thinking of spraying this whole system down with some, uh, like some bed spray, but eh, we'll see. Uh, so anyways, let's just kind of go through this. You can see I've got this, this little, uh, organizer you can see in the top without me popping the cover off. I've got some chip pullers in here, some little tweaker screwdrivers, and you can see I got screws and got a headlight, wire nuts, whatever. So let's go ahead and we'll set this down. We'll just put this on top of this trash can here. Then you can see this is my two drawer system. And, and FYI, this is how it locks. Okay, now watch. And, and there's, there's actually kind of locks in here, the back. And then these lock into in the front. Anyways, so you can see, and the, the nice thing about this, about this drawer system, check it out. Those slides, they're actually, actually metal slides. I mean, it's not uh, like a plastic where it just, just kind of slides into like a, a, a groove, if you will. I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but um, yeah, it actually, and it slides really nice. And it, even though it's got this to lock it in, it's still, even with this open, it's still, I mean, I still have to pull it. You can, you can see I'm still pulling it a pretty fair deal. So let's pull this one down. Okay. Now this one, when I pull this down, I got to be careful because of this. And because of this, so I'm, I'm not going to pull it down. So I'm going to go ahead and lock this in. Okay. And you can see, we'll open this up. You can see. It comes with this little tray here, which until I get my pouch, I've got, you know, some miscellaneous bits, my uni bit. Uh, that's my continuity tester in my home. This is my programming keypad that I use for uh, Honeywell alarm systems. You can see T25 staple gun, booties, blah, 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 right? Got some uh, testers down here, meter. But without the pouches in here, you know, uh, which I, I don't I don't know if I'm really going to need the pouches because I think I got everything I was looking to, to get in in the drawers. Except my drywall saw. My drywall saw won't fit in the drawers and it won't fit in, in here this way. I had to put it this way, which kind of threw me off. And you can see how I got that, how I got the nylon lock nuts and the, the fender washers in there. Okay. And so that, and it, it, it all locks down pretty good. And you can see, you can actually put a lock in here. You can actually put a lock in here. Okay, and this uh, top piece here, you can actually put a lock in here. So you can actually lock it all down, um, which, you know, um, 
what I'm used to having is I'm used to having where I can keep my tools, my work truck. I bring my work truck home. No, no, no issues. Uh, I, I just, just started a new position. Um, the work truck stays at work, but because there has been some issues with the work trucks being broken into, it is highly recommended because my employer's insurance wouldn't cover my tools. It's highly encouraged that you pull your tools out and you, you can leave them in the, in, in the shop because the shop is protected. But if you leave them in the vehicle and they disappear, you're SOL. So you pull them out and you leave, you leave the toolbox in the shop or you bring the toolbox home. Um, so let's do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to extend that up. I'm going to lock all this in. Okay. Lock that. Lock that. And you can see. Okay. It won't pull up here. And because it's locked in back in the back, it won't pull up that way. And the biggest reason I got the heart versus like in Milwaukee, well, honestly, just the cost. You know, Milwaukee, you know, for something like this, you're, you're probably looking at about $280. Um, whereas this, like I said, $140. I may get another another one of these, and I think that's about 30 bucks. So, but we're, we're going to wait, or I'm going to wait. So, anyways... That's that, and you can see there's a nice big old fat footrest down here, so you just, boom, and it moves all nice and easy, okay? There's my truck. You see my truck in any other video, a lot of other videos, if you've seen my, my videos. Just painted the wheels, but we're not going to go into that in this video. So, anyways... That's the Heart Toolbox. Um, like I said, it's kind of a review and kind of a, a, a what the modifications I've done to it. So, uh, yeah, if you like this video, uh, if you're interested in my next video, go ahead and hit this hit that subscribe button. Because um, I've always got other videos coming out. Not one, one particular uh, topic. But uh, yeah, if you like this video, uh, if you know someone who's considering a stacking toolbox, I think the heart system is the way to go. Go ahead and share the video with them. And, you know, uh, I, I would give it a, a, a easy a five, maybe a four stars. It, it feels pretty, pretty rugged. That's the reason I got the box because I actually saw it in the store something like this i don't think i could just order online without actually seeing it feeling it holding it um you know there's there's some things that you just can't can't just go off like that so anyways uh that's it's just a kind of a review and what i did as far as the alterations to the box and uh yeah again if 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 you want to know about my next video coming out go ahead and give me a Hit, my, hit that subscribe button, help out the channel. Otherwise, if you are looking for a stacking box, if you know someone looking for a stacking box, I think this is a really good way to go. Go ahead and share the video. Um, until my next video, I will see you on the next one. Thank you. Goodbye.